Have you ever dreamed of finding buried treasure? In a middle school in Shawnee, Kansas, a history teacher holds the keys to a treasure chest packed full with over 50,000 artifacts from our past. Everything tells a story. If you choose to share the story. Then you have to figure out how are you going to tell it the best way. This is Kyle, and for the last 25 years, he's used these artifacts to reshape the way his students see the world. Each week we make a short film about someone you tag in the comments. And this week, we're in Kansas because of a comment from Marissa Olin. She told us that we should look into Kyle Heilman, a teacher who is doing things a little bit differently. When you and I were growing up and we saw stuff in textbooks, you see a picture, you see a description, it doesn't come alive. When you think back and imagine your old classrooms, they probably look a little bit like this. So how would you react if you walked into this? Start taking artifacts out, sort them, organize them, try and get them grouped together. I tell stories, but the artifacts make it real. It's metal, it's heavy, it's cold, it's hard. Over 70% of the artifacts in Kyle's room have been donated. The museum was started by accident. Kids started bringing stuff in, we put it on a shelf, a little cheap Walmart shelf. Today, the artifacts don't just sit on the shelves. They're buried in custom-built desks for excavation. What you have on your desks, I'm just being honest, some of them took human lives. People traded these for human beings. In a normal history class, you don't see this kind of stuff. You read it from a book, and then you get tested over it, and then you just forget about it. By using these artifacts, we get more of a feeling of how these people lived. We want to forget about it, but we shouldn't because we need to prevent it from happening in the future. We have people with unusual ideas, Ku Klux Klan candidates, neo-Nazi candidates. Somebody has to stand up and say no. So even though it's a horribly powerful artifact and uncomfortable to talk about, I think we got to talk about it. People try to hide this. You know, they try to hide the other ones too, and you just, you can't run away from this, you just can't. No other class that I have taken has anything that is as hands-on. As an elective, this class sits in a unique position. When former Governor Brownback lowered income and corporate tax rates in 2012, public school districts across the state had to start canceling electives to keep up with the budget cuts. My school has lost thousands and thousands of dollars. So you survive, you do what you have to do to get by, and you make do with what you have. I want to make a room where they want to come and learn. Sometimes there are things happening in the house that, that make school not important. That's hard. For some of my kids, <laughs> school is the safest place to be. I want to make a room where they want to come and discover what they're excited about. Guys, I'm going to be dead. All your teachers are gone. All your parents are gone. Who's running this country? You guys. For now, Kyle's class is safe thanks to relentless student and community support for the last 25 years. All right, guys, behave, be good, be gone. Have a great day, and I will pass more artifacts around on Monday while we finish. Thanks so much for watching. If you missed last week's episode, click here to meet Mama Cat. She's one of the coolest chefs I've ever met. And tag anyone else who you think represents an issue that we'll be facing in 2018. Like, subscribe, follow to find out which city we're going to be in next. I'll see you soon.